you know, just a little story of, um, of a, how hereditary angioedema can affect a family. So I had a, a, a woman I um, interviewed in a European meeting about HAE. And so her mom, who's now about 70, she's about in the mid-40s. She has a daughter who's 16, 17. Her mom was really incapacitated from the disease, really went out, really didn't hold a job, um, really only did, went out of the house for essentials. She always had belly pain and swelling. Her daughter, who's the lady I interviewed, now has minimal attacks. She was disabled considerably, had a lot of morbidity from her disease until the last five years. Now she has an international job, flies around the world with little restrictions. And her daughter, who really has, most people don't develop attacks until around puberty. So she has had a medication available since she started developing her attacks. So she's never even uh, experienced a full-blown HAE attack. As soon as she has minimal symptoms or first signs of symptoms, she gets treated. So she's never really had the absenteeism, the morbidity, or you know the anxiety and stress and depression associated with the disease. And it just shows you how far we've come over the last five years.